In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look at how to make text appear in a three-dimensional fashion. I'm using Tyler Pro version 1.5 that came bundled with PowerDirector. The newer versions, which we'll look at later, have even more features, but this will get you started. So let me show you a little bit about three-dimensional appearing titles. I'm going to click on my Monday Sales paragraph. And now we're going to try to make it three-dimensional. How do you do that? Well, the first thing I want to do is click on my Style button at the top. And just for fun, let's uh, go ahead and uh, change this value called Extrusion. The default is zero. I'll click it, click on the left, and we'll extrude it. And you can begin to see how the text is having a depth quality. To see that more dramatically, we're going to click on the globe over here. And now we're going to rotate the text a little bit this way so you can see what it looks like uh, in that particular fashion. So I'm going to go back and move it to the middle. And I'm also going to make it larger so we can see more. There is our extruded text in our Monday sale. Now, obviously, this is pretty bland, so let me crank it up a bit. I'm going to change on my 3D face. I'm going to change my texture. Click on that from a color. And we'll turn it to this uh, water droplet one. And there is what it looks like now, which is a little bit more interesting. We're also going to take our outline, our 3D outline below. And let's, uh, let's make that a little bit thicker here. This is just the outline around the front part of the letter. Now we can extrude it too, but this extrusion is different. Watch what happens when I click on this. This gives me depth on the, on the outline surface, okay? And if I go ahead and click back here on the globe, I have two extrusions, one for the outline, and then I have one for the entire letter. So if I drag here, click on the globe again, and I drag and move it, you can see that I have uh, an extrusion of the outline that goes back a certain distance. And then I have another extrusion here on the, the uh, actual letter that goes back farther. So you can make it so that you have uh, two things that are extruded, one kind of inside or adjacent to the other. And we look at it from the back view, and this is what you see. And so you can do some pretty nifty things with uh, extrusion, both for your 3D face and for your 3D outline, if you want to add a little sense of depth uh, to your document. Now again, the, if I want to modify, oh, I don't want it quite that deep, I can change the depth here. I can go back to my extrusion factor on my outline, and I can make that a little less pronounced. But it's just a fun way to experiment with the variations you have in Tidler Pro to add a little bit of 3D. Let's look on this other uh, uh, object I have. Let's try this as well. Okay, I, let's, let me try on the, first of all, we'll try the extrusion on the, the general style itself. And we'll increase this. And we'll click on our globe so we can uh, change this a little. So that's taking the 50% off and uh, making it a little bit more deep. Probably don't want it sticking back quite that far. So we'll, And now let's go to our uh, thickness here on our extrusion and watch what happens when we change the, begin to change this value. I click on it here. Okay. And then let's go with our, with our 3D outline. And we'll change this one. So we actually have three items that kind of layer one inside another. And again, you look at it from this dimension. And, and uh, it takes on a whole new different look here when you do your 50% off. 
So you can experiment with these as much as you want in order to uh, make them work together uh, to add a little bit of uh, zip, a little bit of uh, novelty to your graphics in Tyler Pro with three-dimensional extrusion factors. Thank you.